Today we are going to talk about a hybrid inverter. Okay, so what is a hybrid inverter? A hybrid inverter is an inverter that you can attach batteries. That's the simplified definition of it. So when we talk about battery systems, actually a system that we have worked with a lot is the Alpha ESS. And they have a single phase 5 kilowatt model that's uh, called Smile 5 G3. So it's called Smile 5 because it's 5 kilowatt, and it's called G3 because it's the third generation. Uh, we have installed all three generation generations, um, and they're just getting better and better. Uh, and now it's actually only certified installers that can install this system. And why is that? It, it because to install the battery systems, there, there, there's a lot of safety issues. There's a lot of things that can be done wrongly, uh, not only with the inverter itself, but with the battery connectors. Here's the battery, by the way, 10 kilowatt hour, 96 volt. Uh, we're not going to open it because it's heavy and big. Another part of the installation is uh, ATS that we have here, and also, in most cases, a UPS panel, a separate panel. So all these things make the installation... Even even though it is not very complicated, but it's complicated for somebody who doesn't have experience and good electrical understanding. There's a lot of mistakes that can be done and actually is done. Uh, and that creates a lot of problems for the customers. So that's why that in most countries now, only certified installers can install, just because that creates a much better user experience and that the installation can actually be done correctly. And with hybrid systems, that is even more important uh, than uh, with on-grid systems because of the complexity and added equipment uh, and everything like that. So if we take a look at this inverter, we have a huge heat sink in the back here. Maybe, Joe, you come and show in the back the Hydro heat sink. No? No, it's a very big integrated heat sink. That is sort of standard, I would say, now on all inverters. But uh, still, it has to be there and it has to be designed properly. And that's what certainly this uh, is. And all the connectors are here. Now, this is IP65, so which means that it's uh, waterproof to a certain level, not submerged. But these kind of connectors make it so that it is waterproof to splashing and things like that. So we have uh, we have a special breaker here, and we have AC. We have the backup side used for off grid also. The battery connectors, like I said, the battery is ninety six volt, which uh, creates a, a better compared to the forty eight volt. It's just less conversion, obviously. Um, and we have these communication cables and LAN to the internet. So. On this model, you can connect the cable to the to the internet, which is also a benefit. Um, if we move to the front, Tarado Kangnado, uh, we have a small screen. There are two models, one with a screen and one without. Uh, the screen is nice, but if you have the model without the screen, the functionality is exactly the same. So it's not like uh, that is very important to have a screen because when we do the installations, always the customer has uh, an app on the phone and on the computer if he wants to be able to observe exactly the same. So, But if you have a screen, you can certainly look at everything here and it's, it's a nice feature, sort of, <laughs> but not necessary. So if we think about uh, the specifications of this uh, inverter, what, what are the benefits? Now, Alpha ESS, they are actually the market leader now in Australia. They are actually in front of Tesla, Sungro, all other suppliers regarding battery systems in Australia. So it's a proven product compared to cheaper, the absolutely cheapest battery systems you can get. Yes, it's a little bit higher price, but uh, there's certainly a lot higher quality. We have installed this model a lot, and I, I would say this is probably the best model they have designed in terms of firmware, in terms of stability, in terms of features. 
So Alpha ESS really are pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and uh, they really deserve that market leader role in Australia. And they are in over 60 countries, I think it is. Many, many countries anyway now, and also expanding in, in the U.S., and the batteries is a big part of that because they are stable. And actually, the batteries that are used in solar systems now, they have a computer inside, and that's called the BMS, the Battery Management System. And that computer has to be designed very, very good. There has to be a lot of development put into that for stability, for communication between the battery and the inverter. And Alpha are doing that, so that means that the batteries are stable and, and good. Um, so I would say for battery system, if you're looking for stability and lifetime and quality, then this is it, absolutely the best. And one feature that I will say, maybe the crown jewel, so to speak, that is that you can oversize 100% on this. So what does that mean? It means that you can put not only 5 kilowatt of panels, but 10 kilowatt of panels. Why is that good? First of all, it's good for loss because, of course, in solar systems, we have loss in cables, we have loss in the direction to the sun, we have loss in clouds, we have loss in, in the inverter. So there's a lot of loss, and that is why it's a huge benefit that we can do oversizing. And inverters have different oversize capabilities. So this one can oversize all the way up to 10 kilowatt. And that is amazing. And another feature that uh, is connected to that is that this system is able to give energy to the battery even when it's giving to the load 5 kilowatt. So it's all able to, for example, put 5 kilowatt to the load and then 2 kilowatt into the battery. So you're actually having a lot of features that are only in 10 kilowatt systems but you have those features in this 5 kilowatt system because of the design of it, of it. So for the price of a 5 kilowatt system, you get a lot of features from a 10 kilowatt. So that is why it's important when you compare different systems, you have to look at all these capabilities. So you don't say, okay, that's a 10 kilowatt, this is a 5 kilowatt. You have to look in the actual, how they work during... Um, during the working hours, so to speak. And that's also with the battery lifetime. This battery has 8,000 cycles. Um, so you can imagine that how much better that is compared to a battery that has 5,000 cycles or 6,000 cycles. It's a big difference. So if you compare the lifetime, the quality of the build, and the warranty overall, uh, I think this is uh, the best battery system available. Okay, guys, that's, that's it for Alpha Smile 5 G3.